properties of voltage source and current source in series and parallel circuits. So, in a conclusion, so long enough, for circuit of the series, right? And the circuit series, now tell me the answer. Series circuit, the current value change the current value. That is always remains same. In the point at the current value will change the parallel circuit, the voltage value change the current value. Now, first case, here I took a series circuit. In the series circuit, the current source, resistance, voltage source. Clear? Series circuit, in the voltage change the resistance in the changes of the end or the current source put the current source on the point and voltage drop create so in a serious circuit if in the voltage source or current source is the winner of the resistors you can replace it you don't need to consider this voltage source just consider the current source and the voltage source on the circuit will end the effect of the other just we can replace it by equivalent current source under resistance of the effect of the rate of the other and then the circuit parallel of the other one parallel of the voltage mean put the other one then here we go in parallel circuit, what is the voltage that remains the same? Correct. If you have two elements that are parallel, that means that the parallel circuit that is equal to the voltage that is equal to the voltage. That means that the current value is not constant. Right? Directly, we can consider the single voltage source with the equivalent resistance. Clear? So that is how we are transforming. That is basic fundamental properties of series and the parallel circuits. Right? Part of the main source transformation technique. What do we mean by source transformation? Generally, what are sources that we have to do? There are only two sources. One is voltage source, another one is what? Current source. Correct? Okay, let us see. First, if you have a voltage source, if you have a voltage source, you should have to represent the voltage source. See, the voltage source with the impedance in series, right? We can generate a impedance. For impedance, there is a if you have a voltage source, now, if you have a current source, how we are considering a current source? Current source. Here, here I am putting a impedance. Impedance is parallel and connected, right? So, that is current source. Now, my question, right? You can answer this in the comment section. You can answer this in the comment section. What is the impedance of a series? Current source is parallel and connected, right? That is my question. You can answer this in the comment section, right? Okay. Now, we are going to play with these two sources. It means, the voltage source is the current source. That means, the current source is the current source. How do we do this? For the voltage source, we will simply use Ohm's law. First, in the voltage source, we will fix it. 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 अपने इंगो वोटेज सोस रिक्त हो बिना इंगो करंट सोस का कन्वर्ट करना हो बिना विहाल तो यूज़ वोम्स ला अगर इंगो वोम्स ला इंगो जब उन्हें करंट सोस का कन्वर्ट करना हो बिना पास से करंट सोस रिक्त हो अदर रीड ना करें वो करंट सोस अपने जनरल और करंट सोस रिक्त हो अदर तो पैर लगा वो इंपोर्टेंस रिक्त हो अदर करंट सोस दैट इस करेक्ट � Total supply voltage in what is the area B divided by this impedance Z. That is how we are finding the area of current. And then, in the area of impedance Z, what are you going to do? This is how we are transforming voltage source into current source. This is why, if you have a current source, you can transform voltage source into current source. Again, voltage source is the idea of this is the representation. We have to keep a voltage source like this. And here we are going to keep our impedance. So, we are going to do this. Right? What is the way we find now? According to Ohm's law, once again, V is equal to I into Z. I would have Z would have Z equal to I 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 equal to first to find the value of voltage. And then, impedance in N equal to I equal to I equal to I equal to I equal to That is how we are transforming a current source into an equivalent voltage source. Clear? So, that is the practical equivalent of source transformation. Like voltage will be current, current will be voltage. I hope you all understand. Now, question get in there. Question get in there. सर्किट ले ये हम तो वोल्टेज सोर्स पूरे इंपोर्टेंस सीरियस लेते हो ये करंट सोर्स पूरा इंपोर्टेंस पैरेलल लेते हो अपनी तरह करेक्ट का लार्ज इतना टिंग पनी पूरा एंड सर कमेंट सेक्शन में पूरा है सो थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग द वीडियोस थैंक यू वाल